surprise. Another video from me really quick. I just did a video the other day. I'm irritated today. And I haven't done a video in a long time when I've been irritated. So why not, right? Why am I irritated? I'm supposed to be off work, but I work till 3 o'clock today. <sighs> My employer. She's in New Zealand, which is 18 hours ahead of us, time-wise. She worked all five days last week. And all of the jobs weren't wrapped up when she left Saturday because they had to be proofread. So I wake up this morning at 8 o'clock and I have like six emails from her. Like, really? And it's like, we have a team of like five people, but I'm like the head of the team and it's hard to explain it. But it's like, why do I feel like I'm the only competent one on our team? Why do I have to be the one to put out the fires, solve all the problems? It's so, yeah. So till three o'clock dealing with that, emailing the proofreader, all that bull crap. And it's probably not done. They're probably, it's probably not over yet. Because I'm sure my employer will find stuff that I have to fix on these jobs. So, yeah. Um... I'm over it. I'm over the cancer. I'm over the chemo. I'm over it. And I still have a long way to go. Um, my scalp is just, it's like the wigs are a little bit itchy. So it's like, I don't want to go in public and wear one, but I also don't want to go without one or without a hat because my head, I mean, my hair is just way too short. It looks better on the video than it does in person. Um, you can see my scalp through it and my scalp right now is irritated because of the rash that I've had that I'm trying to get rid of, which by the way, I'm taking extra steroids, a medrol dose pack they gave me. So maybe that's why I'm irritated too. That's probably a side effect. I don't know. I only got two more days of that. So I'm going tonight to meet Pat and Lacey and Sandy and I don't know if Margo's going for dinner and then stitching at Lacey's house and it's like, I'm thinking to myself, do I wear a wig? Do I wear this hat? I think I'm just gonna wear the fucking hat. I think I'm just gonna wear this hat and just be done with it because this hat's comfortable and yeah. But I'm gonna try to stop and get some baby shampoo because people have said they've had success with that. Oh, and then makeup. Okay, so not only am I not feeling that great and I'm pretty much bald, uh, my skin's really dry. I don't know if that's from the chemo or from what, but I try to put on makeup and it looks like um, a scaly snake. So then I'm scrubbing my skin and then trying to figure out. I said, you know what? Okay. What can I get that's not foundation? So I decided to try to get a tinted moisturizer. And I actually got this, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. And I got this today in the mail from Amazon. And I actually have it on. And it actually... It, it gave me a little bit of coverage where I don't feel completely bare and awful looking. It says it's a tinted hydrating gel cream and my skin didn't look dry when I put it on. $26 on Amazon, so it better friggin' work, right? So at least that, that seems to be working. And then stitching. <laughs> stitching. I, oh my God. I had done so good with working on one project, the Prairie Moon Red and the Black 2. Loved it, but then got tired of it. Got not tired of it, but just bored of just working with one project, two colors. So I want to do a rotation. Kiss a friggin' death. Um, I got the dark sh shadows pattern from Lori, which I love, and I was so grateful that she sent me that pattern. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm moving. I'm just I'm so I'm I feel like I'm coming out of my skin today. So I have started that project twice. You guys saw in my last video I had stitched the D. Well, since I did that video, I had stitched the A and the R. Hated my color conversion. No. So I'm like, all right, I'll restart it because I wasn't picking out the D, A, and R on that fabric. That wasn't happening. So I pulled the original DMC colors, restarted it on a 28 count fabric, and I posted that on Instagram. My I was going to start it the other day. Can't stitch black on 28 count. Nope. Not with two strands. Not me. Not good enough coverage. So that's going bye-bye for right now. I don't know when I'm going to stitch that or what fabric I'm going to stitch it on. I'm like, you know what? I've hadn't had any finishes since last October, I think. November. So I, oh, and I'm also went back to Q-Snap. Yeah. Um, because I, why did I decide to go back to Q-Snaps? I don't know, because I, when I opened my little, um, 
I have like this three drawer cabinet in my closet. When I opened it up today and saw this, I was like, what the holy hell? Why do I have 33 grime guards? I counted, that's how many I have. I have 33. Now, 10 of them were like gifts. So really I have like 23, but still 23? I don't need 23. Who needs 23 grime guards? So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna use Q-snaps just to, just to use them again because I have so many, right? And I can fit the whole, and I, I don't know, some of the stretcher bars, even though they're light, they become unwieldy. They become, yeah. I feel like, I'm telling people, uh, I'm losing my mind. I really just, t yeah. I'm hoping by the end of this, I have a better attitude and you'll see why. So what I decided to start was this. The Ink Circles Damask, Damask Square on a 32 count Joblin Winter Wishes from Hand Dye Fabrics by Stephanie. And this is a grime guard from um, Stitch All the Things, Christine. And because she made me this bag and this matches it. So Needle Minder is from, uh, you know, I don't even know, it was a free one. I think it was from someone who sent me a gift. True North Needle Minders. Nifty Needle Nannies. Somebody sent it to me for free. And like with a bunch of other ones I did. But they stitched this on with white. No. As I talked about in my last video, I'm using this thread. Which is a Carrie's Creations thread in Phantasm. Which is really pretty. Now, that's another little thing. I placed an order for an extra skein of this. Because I don't know if this is going to be enough to do the whole thing. And I placed the order from Carrie's Creation Threads um, two days ago. Already got the shipping notice. I placed an order with Stitching Bits and Bobs for Carrie's Creation Threads three weeks ago and have yet to get that. So, yeah. So I'll be stitching that tonight when I go to Lacey's house. So maybe I'll have some progress on that. So I thought to myself, you know what? I got to have some finishes. That means I got to stitch some smaller stuff, right? So here's my plan. And why I say plan and I laugh, I laugh like a crazy person. Because me making plans with stitching, it never works out. But some of these smaller designs I have, I want to stitch some of these. Valentina. The Blue Morpho, which I absolutely love that one. I love all these. Oscar's Corsage. Four Delice. And then Reflections of Paris. All of these will fit inside an 11 by 11 Q-snap. And they all use like basically one, two, or three colors. Oh, and then also some of these. Some of the smaller Prairie Schooler ones. Especially this one, the Double Double. I thought I would use this with it. Carrie's Creations Hot Pink as the accent instead of the orange. Yeah, that's not really picking it up. This is like a really pretty pink color. But yeah, you know, I have these. The Knock Knock. Miss Fortune, where I have I, green. I made little notes. Who's there? And then Night Flight. So... I got to get some finishes. Maybe that's why I, I'm feeling like crazy. I haven't had a finish in like forever. So I'm going to try that. I, I don't. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh. As far as um, my last video and the giveaway that I'm doing. I really. Not anguished. But hemmed and hauled and was like. How can I do this fairly? Because I have like 440 comments on that video. There is no way in hell. Hell, I'm writing down 440 names. So I did some research on Google and put in like how to pick a winner on a giveaway. I found this thing called YouTube Random Comment Picker. And it's so awesome because you put in the URL of your video and you hit this button. It counts all the comments and then it randomly picks one. So on Monday... When I do another video, I'm going to have my camera trained on my computer screen and you guys are going to see it happen live. So nobody thinks it's fixed or I picked whoever or whatever. So that's going to be happening. Um, oh, yeah, I do have my haul there. I have a little bit of haul. Oh, I did this. I When I got the Ikea magnet board, I then had a blank little magnet board. I had bought this off of Etsy. 
This is magnetic. Someone made this, this part. This is scrapbook paper. Someone did this. But I, this was blank. And I'm like, what can I do? Because I wanted to save this picture that um, my Facebook friend Nicole had given me that care package with all that really great perfectly posh stuff in it. So I cut this out and then put all of my breast cancer needle minders I received on this. And how cool that this was already pink. So this is now going to be hanging on my wall forever. I really love that. And if I get any more breast cancer needle minders, they'll go right on here because I got room. So I did that and I was really happy to do that. I'm looking at notes. Okay, yeah, dark shadows, yeah. Mm. Oh, and I also made a mistake in my last video. I credited the wrong person, her son-in-law making these pens in the needle case. That wasn't Yvonne, the night owl stitcher, as she pointed out to me. It was actually another Yvonne, and she goes by Cardinal Stitcher, but she doesn't have a floss tube channel. So I just wanted to apologize to Yvonne, and I, I had messaged her on Facebook. Um, yeah, and I changed it. I had not linked his Instagram or his Etsy page on my last video, as I said I would, but I did fix it, and it is there now. So go check his Instagram out, because he has a lot of cool things. And I love this pen. I use this pen every day now. Okay. TV shows real quick before I show where you see what I got sitting over there. I watched Girls on uh, yesterday. Eh, it was all right. The first episode was better. Um, Big Little Lies, though, that was the premiere of that. That's got some promise. I really enjoyed that. So that should be interesting to see how that carries over for the rest of the episodes. I don't know how many episodes there are. Eight or ten is usually seems how it goes. And then the premiere of Base Motel was last night. Ooh, that's going to be a freaky deaky show this season, last season of it. So those were all good. Yeah, stayed up way too late. Went to bed like 1.30 last night. Not that it matters. I can sleep in, right? Because I'm not working, right? Yeah. <sighs> oh, I need to take a big breath, don't I? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm hoping that tonight when I go to see these ladies that I can, like, forget about everything for a couple hours and just... Have a normal time, feel normal, because I don't feel normal. I don't. I feel like a crazy person coming out of my skin, shedding, molting. Okay. I did get some uh, gifts in the mail. Shit. I, uh, like, right after I shot my video, I got a card from Heather, and I don't know if this is Heather from Heather Stitches on Floss Tube, because there's no last name on the card. But she sent me this cute little card. And she sent me this awesome sticker which says, all I need is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. I'm going to put that right now on my uh, DMC case. And then she sent um, this needle minder, which is awesome, books and coffee, my two best friends. So thank you very much, Heather. I, whatever Heather this is, I couldn't thank you. But let's put this sticker right on here right now. Love stickers. I will fill this whole thing with stickers. Look at that. Yep. I will fill that with stickers if I get more stickers in the mail. Oh, and another little rant. You know, I'm self-employed. I did my husband's and I, our taxes like a week ago because I thought I had gotten all my bullshit, all my 1099s. Nope. Got a 1099 in the mail today for $260. Really? Like, I'm supposed to amend my taxes for that? Yeah. Ugh. You just don't even know today. Okay, I got another card from my, like, pen pal person for Stitch from Stash, which she has been so wonderful. Her name is Christine. She has sent me, like, three cards, and I haven't sent her any. I sent her one today with a little surprise in it. And so she sent me this with a nice note inside, but she also sent me this, which was awesome. I don't have that. I'll be stitching up that little bad boy. I should do that, like, soon, because I could have a finish, right? Love that. Don't Didn't have that one. And then I also got a card from Laura, and seriously love that. I love all these cards, people. I'm so thankful for the cards that I've gotten. And I've gotten some good ideas. I'm I'm thinking I'm going to get one of those boards with the, like, ribbons on it and just stick all your cards in there and hang it on my wall so I can look at them, you know? That would be awesome. Okay, haul. I did buy some, well, I got a gift. I got a gift from an Instagram friend named Tracy. 
she sent me this hay pattern. All in black. Love that one. Love it, love it, love it. And then I was looking for Harry Potter patterns yesterday. I don't know why. Why? I have enough patterns, right? But I found an Etsy store called Kentima by Kana. And she had a sale, three patterns for $10. This pattern caught my eye, and this is why I bought three. That's a saying Dumbledore said that, I think. Don't you love that? And I would seriously love to stitch this on black. I've never stitched on black. I don't know if that would make me go totally insane. But I would like to stitch this on a dark fabric. I just, I totally love that. And it's only like three colors. Yeah. So I got that one. And I got this one, another one with just three colors. That pretty much sums it up, right? Alice in Wonderland. And then I got this one. You guys all know that I love that We Are Geek poster that I, that I put on Instagram and then I showed in my video. Well, I kind of found a pattern on her site that looks like that. I love this. I love it because, like, I like the little doodads. Like when it says winter is coming. Yeah. Again, I would love to stitch this on a dark fabric with and using all white. Yeah. Really love that. But, okay, so that was all that I bought, I think. But then I went to check my mailbox today. This was in my mailbox when I opened it. He, he couldn't fit another thing in the mailbox. So I'm like, you know what? I'll do a video, show my irritation. Um, and open all my stuff alive. So this is a card from C Copperfield End. I'm hoping, well, I don't want to show my address, but this is a pretty envelope. So let's see who sent me this. Oh, okay, this person sent me like a two-page letter, so I'll read that later. Who is it? Who sent me the letter so I can at least say? Joe? Okay. But she sent me like, <gasps> look, there's a fox on the back. Okay, what's in here? Another little card. Joe from England. Oh, this is so cute. She says, stay happy, stay strong, stay healthy, stay stitching. I need to, like, put this where I can see it. Thank you so much, Joe. I will read your letter after I've done the video and clean up everything. Package from Down Sunshine Lane. I think this is the Lizzie Kate Luck pattern that I ordered. Let's just friggin' cut it open. Make it easier on myself here, right? Yep, that's what it is. Lizzie Kate Luck. It's so cute. And it's really small. So that would be another one I could stitch and get done, right? Yeah. Love that. Okay. Next one is from Nifty Needle Nannies. I had placed an order for, I think, two or three needle minders. So I don't remember which ones they were. <laughs> So, surprise! Trusty dusty scissors. Oh, yeah, okay. Peacock, and then like the, um, like the fall themed. I love that peacock one. But there are more in here, so I must have ordered another one, or she sent me a free one. So, let's see. Oh, yeah! The, okay, this one is the most awesome one. Look at that fox. Look at his head. See how he's like glittery and moving? It's like a jewel. Yeah, I saw that and was like, gotta have that. Someone pointed that out to me on Instagram that she had that. And I was like, yeah, gotta have that one. So thank you, Julie, love those. Now, this is from Leslie and Under the Sea Fabrics and I just got my fabric order. I didn't think I ordered anything else from her. Maybe it's a present. Maybe not. Let me see. 32 count Joblin or Lugana in Lichen's Moon. Did I order that? Yeah, 
yeah, I must have, I did, I ordered it. God, it's pretty bad when you don't remember what you've ordered. I must have ordered it after my other order. Let's see what this looks like. And that's, I like that. Pinky purple, yeah. And it's 32 count, 28 count. What was I thinking? 28 count stitching with black thread. And I'm not one to use three strands. It's too bulky, it's a pain in the ass. You can't do the loop method, you can't, yeah. All right, what's this, one, two, three stitch. Oh, this is the patterns I just ordered. Hear that? Beads. Beads from, um, for the witch's wheel. I guarantee it. Oh, yes. Make sure I get everything out of here. Is that it? Yep. Okay, first, Glendon Place witch's wheel. And I had ordered um all the beads for it why did i order that thread oh okay it calls for ooh these are some pretty beads those probably don't go with it calls for all kinds of colored beads so awesome or you know if i didn't want to do beads, which if I'm using a Q-snap, maybe I won't. Um, in the past, I've substituted um, Petite Treasure Braid for beads. I did that with Fairy Moon Mirabilia. It looked awesome. Okay, so the patterns I got was that. I got the lace corset from Alessandra Adelaide, because you know I love that. And that actually called for this sparkle braid. So I bought that, and I think it called for these beads. So there's that. Then the last one I got was Long Dog Samplers Le Jardin de Placier. Yeah, I don't know if I got that right. But it called for these two threads, and I bought just one skein of each because I, oh no, it called for three fret threads Raven, Buckeye, Scarlet, and then a gray one. And I don't know why I didn't get the gray one. I don't think I got it because I didn't have it. Banker's Gray? Yeah, I think I just wanted to see what they looked like. So there was that. And then, what's this package? Fiberlicious. Must be the fabric of the month that I get from them. Ooh. Oh, fabric and threads. Awesome. Okay. Here's all the threads. I'm not going to take them out of the package. Pretty. And then, oh, this is beautiful fabric, though. 28 count. Why did I pick 28 count? It's pretty, though. 28 count opal. And buttercream. That's really pretty though. But if you know if you stitch something dark on it, you're going to be able to see through it. I, I do really like that though. And I have yet, I've only stitched one project on an opal fabric in my whole stitching career. All right, the very last package is a big package from the UK. Now, this person does not, this is a present. They don't want me to say their name on this channel, so I won't. I'll just show the gift, and then I'll thank them on Facebook. Let's see what they got, because it's a pretty big package. And wow, believe it or not, this is going to be 23, 25 minutes. Oh my god. What did they send me? Holy shit, some big kit. Is that candy? Oh, what is this? Looks like an m and M's in the bottom of the bag. Whoopsie. Oh, this is cute. An iron, oh, I'm gonna have to put this on something. Maybe a hat. Look, it's an iron on patch, it's a fox. Yes. Awesome, yeah. I'll be putting that on a hat. Maybe I'll put it on this hat. Okay, what's this? A felt craft sewing kit. <gasps> oh my god. Look. You make your own fox sewing kit. That's cool. Ooh, I'll enjoy doing that. Something different. Oh my god. 
Holy crap. Look at that. She sent me the whole kit. It has, this is a Gecko Rouge kit. Oh my God. I've never had any of their kits. And look, it has all the floss and the magic guide for, um, that must be 25 count. Maybe someday when I'm ambitious. Oh my God, I love that though. I love that piece. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. You know who you are watching my video. You sent this. Oh my God. Why was that M&M in the bottom of that though? That's funny. Okay, that's all I got people. I feel a little bit calmer now that I was able to vent on my video about all the stuff that I'm upset about. Um, got some wonderful gifts, got some wonderful haul. Okay, I'm going to end this now. I love you all. Thank you for commenting and watching and sending me stuff and being supportive and just listening to me rant. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had a video where I ranted. Okay, I'll see you on Monday. Ciao.